When you think of pursuing blacktail, you typically don't think of sitting in a tree stand. I would much rather pursue blacktail on the ground, either spot and stalk, or still hunting. But to prevent bumping all the deer off this small piece of private land, I decided this is my best option. Half of the property is heavy brush, where these deer can disappear and reappear every couple of minutes. Of course, I'd rather be packing miles into the rugged mountain terrain, but being given the opportunity to archery hunt this property isn't something I'm going to pass up. Plus, with it only being 15 minutes to my house, I've got it made. I've spent many hours scouting this area with cameras, and even hung an observation stand in the early spring to try to pattern these deer and figure out their most used trails. group of bucks about 200 yards away. I've got a little spike out here at about uh, 75 yards. Those deer are pretty content in that field. They're moving real slow. I'm just hoping they work their way down in front of me. Super cool morning so far though. Couldn't have asked for a better opening day. Looks like that bachelor group is starting to split up a little bit. Well, I took a day off because uh, I had to go to work, unfortunately. Got a little bit better wind today. It's coming kind of straight out of the, the west here, which is good. I mean, I don't know what else to say. It's the same old thing. I'm just sitting here in a tree trying to keep it interesting for y'all. It's going to be a good night. Hopefully we see some animals.
Since this is only the second time I've sat the stand and a few weeks left in the season, I decided to pass on this great young buck. This big forket horn is a buck I know well. After grazing him with a broadhead last year when he was a 4x4, I would love a shot at redemption this year. This morning was pretty cool, kind of chaotic. Came in here and had uh, numerous deer within 100 yards to where my stand is. I couldn't get into the stand until about 8 o'clock this morning. I got here at 5.30, so I was here for a while before I could even get up in the stand. I uh, spotted that big mature forket horn, and I got within about 80 yards of him, and then I had a little stag um, off to my right and I couldn't move. Couldn't move kind of out in the open, just some little shrubs here and there, and I had a good hedge in between me and that, that fork, and I just, I couldn't, I couldn't move. If I had moved, that little stag would have blown me out, and then they would have all left. So eventually, that big fork ended up moving on. Interesting morning, to say the least. Exciting, very exciting. Lots of action. As soon as I got up in the stand, I had deer running right at me. They were blowing at something. Something spooked them. And they were running right towards me. And that fork at horn that I could have shot yesterday evening walked right in front of me again. I'm on a really good trail here. It pays off to scout and do your homework with these, these uh, black tail when they're in the velvet. One of the more challenging parts about sitting a tree stand is staying put. When I see these bucks a mere 120 yards away, I just want to climb down and put a stock on them. Come to find out, it was the right decision to stay put, because these bucks quickly moved on. After nearly a week of sitting the open stand, I saw many bucks, but only one forky gave me an opportunity. So I looked over my trail cam picks and decided to put up a stand in the timber and try my luck in there.
doing a public land hunt yesterday and I came out here and sat in my lower stand last night ended up seeing the buck that I'm after uh, shortly after I got in the stand he was uh, feeding away from me I came up here and hung this stand before I went and sat for the evening and I was kind of nervous coming in here and hanging the stand because I wasn't sure if I was going to bump any deer around but when I went and sat down there I saw the deer that I'm after so it was kind of nice having that uh, assurance that he wasn't anywhere near here when I was hanging the stand up when the sun comes out the deer have been coming back in these timber patches so I'm hoping that early this afternoon they'll, they'll be in here In the midst of trying to get the bow off the hook and get my camera turned on, I missed my opportunity to draw on this buck from behind cover. I knew with every bone in my body if I drew back on this buck now, he would see me and blow out. I thought he was going to walk to my right, giving me an opportunity to draw. But instead, he made a left turn under the trees and I watched him walk. Spike just went back that way at about 85 yards by himself. It's in the ground should be a good shot he's barely quartering to me after the shot the deer kind of pranced off like 30 yards 
and then just kind of looked around and then continued to kind of hop off. He didn't act like anything was wrong. And then about four minutes later, the spike went back across the other way, stopped and was looking around. So I'm hoping that that buck bedded down and maybe died and then the spike just left. There's no reason why. spike came back in here and uh, it's almost like he was looking for that buck. Well it's been about 30 minutes. So there's definitely lung blood on it, but I also smell a little bit of gut on it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of here and uh, give it a few hours. This year was a redemption year for me here. After grazing my target buck last year and having to live with that for the past 10 months, the feeling of success can't be measured. This is only my second blacktail with a bow, and although I didn't endure the physical challenge of packing him several miles out of the backcountry, this hunt 
was still just as rewarding as any. 